Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your little Lego SUV to look like an off-roader like I did here. It's really, it's really like fast. It only takes a couple of parts and it's really, really quick. So other than that, let's get building. So for a close-up view, this is the car. Also, don't mind the background of like the talking. This is the car. It looks like an off-roader. It has lifted wheels and it has some stuff right here. So now, let's get into this. So this is the SUV. If you guys have been following my channel for a little while, you'll know that this little Lego SUV, I did a tutorial on, and um, I also did a sports car, which is completely gone, and I kept this one because, well, I like SUVs. And I might sound a little bit more excited for this video because I just got this. It's one of my most favorite SUVs, it's a toy. It's a Mercedes-Benz GLK 350. It's literally one of my most favorite SUVs, also with the G-Wagon. This is riding in second place for most favorite cars, because I just love the looks of it. So, anyways, let's get building. So, the only this is really like a small tutorial, because the only pieces you're going to be needing is... So, this is the only parts you're going to be needing for, these video, for this video. It's like six or seven parts and it's really really small so let's start so first you're gonna want to remove this strip right here and then you're gonna remove this piece right here so now you're left with it like this and there's nothing underneath it take out the wheels and then i also put some black pieces there to like not make it come loose so now just take out both wheels, take off the black parts, so then, like, it won't stick on anymore. It's just gonna, like, fall out. So grab these two-by-two two black pieces. Then put it on top of the wheels, and then put it back in its original wheel well position. Then you grab another one, do it to the other set of wheels. Then you put it up here. So now, your truck officially looks like this. It's more lifted now. So now, we're going to do the little, like, packaging decorations on it. So the little packing decorations, you're going to need this, the 2x2 two two flat, and a 2x2 two two flat with no connector pieces, like you could see right there. So you're going to put the flat one on... Oh, for, sorry about that. So anyways, continuing with the tutorial, you're going to take both of these... One of them is going to be completely flat, and the other one is going to have these little connector pieces. Put the flat one on top, so then you create this. It looks like a little box. Put it on this part of the here roof, here right here. So now, grab a circular one that looks like the square one, but it's just a circle. And it's also flat. Then, you put that one beside the box right here. I can't get this to put on! <laughs> So now you have this. It's like a little wheel cover and like some supplies. And the last thing you're gonna need is a two by three, a rectangle of like the this. And you're also gonna need a flat one. It could be any color. If you wanna be colorful, you could do different colors as well. And it doesn't matter. And now you're gonna put this behind the wheel. Since this roof is five little lego blocks i would say five little lego blocks um long and it's like four by five so it's a 20. put it behind because this is a three and that's a two so it's gonna make five and then five and then it's gonna fit in so now that's how you make a little lego suv off-roader so you could do a bunch of uh things with this it's like it'll also okay so look, here's an example this is one of my house template flat pieces. I have two of them. So if I just put these together, actually, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna just use regular ones. So I'm gonna see if it's two, two thirds of a block. It could stand it. Let's see, push against. It lifts it up with it, but also, you see, it could go like, like exactly on top of it. Because the wheels 
are more lifted and and if you still if you put something like in the front bumper don't do that because with the two blocks it can barely like go over it and then comes the wheels which will go over it as well so that's it for this video it's that's how you make a little lego suv i'll position it like that to make it seem like it's floating and it's not gonna stand a full block because it just bumps it at the like the edge where the headlights are it's just gonna bump it and it's not really gonna go over it because there's not as much gl ground clearance like on the two-thirds of a full block but it can do like staircases and stuff if you just kept doing more and more it would definitely go more higher and more higher like if i just do Four of these. I'm just showing the capabilities of what it can like do. So now I just made a little staircase. Almost officially every single like Lego car can do this, but if you do it too much, since there's nothing on the other side, it might just flip over. But this reaches about right here, I would say, because I, th I think if the um, this one, yeah, you just officially fall over. So yeah, this little thing has many capabilities if you upgrade it like this, or if you just leave it like the stock version, like this. So it's the regular SUV, since it has like this strip that holds everything, it's only one half of a block ground clearance because it hardly even goes up with this block underneath it. But then if you just remove that piece, you have two-thirds of a block of ground clearance in lego because now it can officially go over it without that piece holding it back and then it could start increasing and it 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 doesn't go until it tips over like the same thing as the off-roader but if you want if you have like some sort of muddy off-roading like template like that like that have you made that have you made that you have made you can um you can do this uh at the outro i'm gonna put a um the thing so then you can watch the uh the video of how to build this thing and maybe the monster truck as well because the monster truck had turning wheels and that's something that was really cool for me especially because i have never done something like that and the wheels would turn and yeah <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, stick around for more content like this. I'll be posting some more in the future. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.